Hello everyone, nice to have you back for another episode of our 107 channel. Today's topic is the small aluminium box which is the control unit for our cruise control, electronically controlled. Look at this ignorant barbarian. Yes, the second and last of the three series of our 107 do have electronically controlled cruise control units. If you have a 107 from the very first series, starting in 71 to 79, your cruise control is pneumatically controlled and you do not have to worry about this aluminium box. But you're invited to watch this video till the end when drinks are served. There are other videos in this chapter about cruise control in which we were checking other components such as the plug with 14 pins which we all checked individually for connectivity. Some of the pins did not make proper contact with the socket therefore we gave them a wipe with some fine sandpaper. Another step was unbolting the actuator and repositioning the actuator arm in neutral position. We have checked the length and condition of the throttle linkage to make sure it fits snugly right down to the millimeter so it is properly engaging. We have checked all pins of the plug which is sitting in a socket of the control unit of the cruise control. We were checking if the resistance was correct. I have pulled the chart from the manual for reference, provided you already have this plug since they were introduced and altered from 1987 onwards. In this very case, 560SL from 1988, this version has been mounted. You find all information in your manual if you want to check resistance. Or you send the control unit to me and I check it for you. If your cruise control is malfunctioning, this here is the culprit. In addition to that, the engineers at the factory are making fun of mechanics, working on stuff like that. This thing has been mounted on the top of the driver's side footwell, hidden next to the steering column, above the pedals. You will have to crawl into the footwell on your back, your legs facing upwards, touching the headrest, your head touching the pedals. Now you know why mechanics hate engineers. You need to unbolt that relay first to get access to one of the screws of the housing of the cruise control. It is hilarious. Today we have a look at the circuit board full of resistors and capacitors. Some capacitors tend to break down over some period of time due to vibrations, heat, shocks. Here we go our control unit and a set of different capacitors. Before you start, check your part number to make sure it is identical to this one here. Use a large flathead screwdriver to pry this aluminium housing open. And slide it out carefully. These are the culprits. They tend to give you trouble after 40 years. Resistance and properties of each capacitor are listed on the right hand side. These two on the top in the middle and this one here bottom right hand side and these two blue ones here as well. Got me a set of capacitors. There is a product link at the video description below. You got capacitors of all sorts, specifications and resistance. Actually, this is more or less all you can change concerning capacitors. In addition to that, check the soldering points and heel of all capacitors for cracks. If you find one broken, just give it a touch up soldering. To redo all the soldering points is too much of a trouble if you ask me. I would say change the capacitors that tend to break, check all heels of the capacitors for cracks, remount the unit into the car, start praying to all gods and hope it will work. In my humble opinion I would do it that way. I'll show you that picture of the capacitors again which need to be replaced. 
In a follow-up video, I'll show you some more steps to check your cruise control in case the circuit board and the capacitors are not the culprits. But in 80% of all cases, they are and they are likely to break. What did we achieve until now? Capacitors have been changed, new ones soldered to the circuit board as mentioned before. Resoldering of all soldering points is too much of a trouble anyway. Just remount everything and give it a test ride. Pray for mercy and a miracle. If you think this one is too much of a hassle anyway, contact me, I'll fix it for you. In a follow-up video, some more steps will be shown like, let's say you have already checked Control unit is functioning, actuator is working, plugs and sockets have the right resistance and contact, throttle linkage is good, all wires are with good insulation. What could it be? What could it be? This will be the topic for the next video. Hope you have liked it, hope it was helpful, would be pleased seeing you again next time. Bye bye everyone.